All right, next dev, dev vlog. Here we go. Okay, first thing is she's kind of blocking it. I made some uh, yoga pants. Oh boy. So these are um, hard to see. Uh, these tend to have the agility skill, so they're good for fast characters. Um, definitely not on a rogue. Uh, that's cool, but I just wanted to show them off. Um, what I worked on this week in uh, events, I made an actual event landing page. And, uh, well, today, since today is Saturday, um, you don't see it, but there's a daily event. But uh, the world boss, I kind of uh, tuned him up to. Um, the big thing is, you can see these names. Uh, me and two dev accounts. Test accounts, I guess. Uh, with the high score, which pull from a server. So yes, I have kind of multiplayer capability here. Um, I'm just going to start this so I can show this guy off. I still need to draw his legs, but I scaled him up so he's actual scary boss size. And um, I put in a two-minute timer because I found out that there's an awesome exploit. Um, if you have... Uh, revive characters they can just keep reviving each other and do like one damage and uh the battle will go on forever <laughs> so yeah i put in a timer to prevent that also what's up with her hair? oh man every time i do a dev log there's a bug a new bug that shows up uh, this is kind of an old bug but i thought it fixed this bug anyway um i'm not gonna let this run so yes it's complete um, on success, it uploads the score. If the score is higher, then well, I'm gonna go on the leaderboard. <coughs> Excuse me. Next thing is, uh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, the profile picture. So, um, whatever one you select, uh, so it updates there, and then it updates here. So yeah, it changed it. Awesome, cool. I'm also going to log out. And show off this next part. I'm going to make a new account. I'm going to make a new account. I'm going to create it. And I'm going to accept the privacy policy and the terms, which I read, of course, in detail. I'm going to log in. And uh, yes, here comes the Goddess of Dragons, who I'm going to skip through because I want to. Want to. Oh, what? Ah! Uh, that was weird. Hey, look at this bug. I found a new bug. Cool. Oh. Alright, so you can click on this banner. Um, yes, we get our trash chan. Man, the bugs always appear. They always appear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to skip through this. We're going to skip through this. Um, a small feature is, instead of selecting this, you can click build, and it, if it's empty, it'll automatically put in the thing, if there, if there is one. If there's not, then, well, there's nothing there. Cool. Easy to show. Um, there's a bunch of bug fixes. Um, this is also a good trial run for the, uh, new player experience, because... With the last build, it was broken, so I fixed. And, yeah, the uh, story elements were getting out of sync. So, if during this urgent battle, it somehow crashes, or the game crashes, or you lose, which I don't see how you could. Um, and it goes back to the quest uh, selection screen without um, actually winning the quest, then the story mode would keep going. It would skip to this, and everything would get messed up. So now I have proper checks for uh, the story mode. Okay. How did that appear? So clicking up here, that appears. All right. All right. Um, we're going to do our free pull to get our ultra rare waifu. We got... Dang, we got two! See, whenever I do these, it's... Uh, it's full of bugs, and it's full of, uh, full of luck. There's like, what, one dev video that I got one of the 
0.1% characters to drop. Ooh, she's mean. Nice. Okay. Uh, what do we do now? Um, oh, yeah. Okay, so we can change to our favorite waifu. We'll, we'll pick UT as our favorite. Nice. Actually, you know what? I should use uh, I should use her. Okay. So I'm gonna change the profile picture. Um, I mean, I could use her again, but let's use uh, let's use purple because purple stands out. Cool. So at this point, um, we got the basics training yard. And uh, can change our squad formations. So here at the PvP, uh, we are going to uh, set our PvP team as uh, whoever we want. Um, you know what? She should be like. Let's do this power by power. Oh man, 135. Look at this power. Jeez. I'm gonna actually swap you. Wait, offensive and offensive. They both have offensive. Cool. Okay. Then let's use you for support. Nice. This is actually decent. Revive, intimidate, and offensive. Nice. We're gonna save it. So it, it's now uploaded the PvP team to the server. And what I'm going to do now is so. This is in progress. Um, look at this. We got uh, we got our PvP team, which um, shouldn't be here <laughs> because we can't fight ourselves. But look, here's Psychopath team. Whoever that guy is, he seems pretty cool, but he seems kind of powerful. Um, and then all these are other test accounts. Um, this is my kid's account. Uh, so if you since these are accounts um, untouched before I put in this functionality, they don't have profile pictures, so it just shows a blank square. And since they don't have PvP teams uploaded, uh, the server automatically selects the three strongest characters, and it kind of force forms a temporary PvP team. Um, when these PvP teams fight... Uh, the ones with the generated teams won't go down in rank, so they won't lose points. But once you have a PvP team made, then that kind of like enters you into the PvP arena stuff. Um, don't have refresh working, plus I don't want to spend a thousand bucks on it. So, if we go ahead and log out, back to my account. And, uh, what am I doing? Um, PvP. Alright, so yeah, it just pulled in. So this is the account I just made. It's pulled it in from the server. This is the PvP team I made. That's why I got zero points. It says zero points. Um, it's zero because it's pulling from the PvP score. And since I don't have PvP actually made yet, well, it's going to stay zero. And then here's the other test account. It's one I'm using for development. And if you noticed, these other accounts, it's uh, it's random. <clears throat> so it picks out the accounts that have the highest, or the the ones that have the score closest to you. So if you have 100 points, then it's going to pull in the next three accounts that are higher than yours, and the next four accounts that are lower than yours. And since everything's zero, well, yeah, I can't really show that off. Um, but there's three accounts that have registered PvP teams, so it's going to grab those first. And then for these empty spaces, it just, it picks random other accounts. And which are mo mostly, uh, test accounts. Except for my kid. Uh, except for Hollis. But Hollis is not actually logged in, so shame on you. And that's that. Uh, this has been a nice devlog with many bug fixes um i did fix the world boss because uh when he was um greater than difficulty seven uh he just
crash the game because you know what? That's that's what he's good at. He's good at crashing the game. Um, I also fixed some weapon poses that weren't loading. So on the screen, the main screen here, uh, this is a two-hand two-handed weapon, and she wasn't holding it with two hands. So I fixed that. Uh, I believe that's everything. Oh, the urgent boss. So the urgent boss had a bug where it would cast a skill and then not actually do anything. It would just sit there and get beat on. <laughs> so I fixed that so the urgent boss is now a challenge again. Um, the big thing I did uh, last weekend after I did the build was I worked on the client server communications and I was able to compress the data. So that should allow for bigger data transfer. Not that I need it, but it, it's just more efficient. Less data transmitted equals faster game. The, uh, yeah, like the, I forgot to mention, so the profile pictures and also the characters shown on the PvP teams, uh, those pictures aren't transmitted, only the configuration data. So how these characters are built, they, um, like uh, she's wearing a shirt and a s skirt, so it passes in, it passes to the server for that character, just her character number, and then the characters table um, has all her parameters stored, and uh, uh, it just passes the value of the shirt. So when all this that is passed back to the client, the client then builds the character based on uh, what uh, parameters were passed for that character. I also added a bond system. So the more you use a character, uh, it increases their bond, and the range is going to be, or the range is negative 99 to positive 99, whereas where negative 99 means they hate you, and I need to think of some good negative effects, and positive 99, when you hit the very end of it, you'll be able to rename your character, or a character, yeah. Um, I don't have a visual display yet. I plan to make a like a little heart symbol for each of the levels. Uh, what else? So I consolidated the screen display into uh, that's an okay score into one um, class. So at the bottom of the screen, of course, this is dev mode, but there's also a little ping icon. And all this info for every screen is the same now. Uh, previously, it was all different, and that was not a good way to do that. So, oh yeah, the town builder. Um, <laughs> uh, I added a thing, so where you actually, it, uh, when you, buildings that can be upgraded, it shows a level. And then when you spend the materials to upgrade them, Hey, it actually tells you what's unlocked now. So Lazy Cat Sunday Banner is now available. Uh, since today is Saturday, I can't show you it. And see, this went from level 3 to level 4. Awesome. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I think we're good. Uh, what do you think? Questions, comments, concerns? I'm going to have this game, uh, this version of the game built today. I'm going to work on that now. <clears throat> actually, you know what? I'm going to work on some art assets, and then I'm going to build the game. And it'll be playable per the usual means. Yep, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and even better, join the Discord and you can be involved in the game development. Um, oh yeah, look at this. Requ requires castle level 5. So since, that, since I increased the castle level to level 4, now this is going to appear as like, oh, if you upgrade further, it's going to unlock another thing. Yes, yes, yes. Alright. Thanks for watching.